Good morning, you all. God bless you and welcome to Mike Reed Outdoors. It's another rainy day. I love it. We're getting plenty of rain up here in Virginia. I think now, since it started raining there at the beginning of the week, we've got upwards of about three inches of rain. So that is really good. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a leaf. See that right there? See that right there? Handmade leaves. Why in the world would you want to make a leaf? Well, this one's a keychain. I'll give you a close-up of it here just in a few minutes and tell you a little bit more about it. One thing I want to tell you, though, is did you know that you can go to flea markets, yard sales, <clears throat> craft shows, and you can sell and make these things right here. These little old trinkets like this right here will sell way faster than a hunting knife will. Now, I didn't make this hunting knife. This hunting knife was made by a young fella up in Red Key, Indiana, by the name of Jamie Morton. And I don't know if Jamie still uh, has his blacksmith shop or not, but I actually got him started by him watching my videos several years back. So he actually made this little keychain right here. And he made for me this knife right here. But I can tell you from experience, these little trinkets will sell faster at a flea market, at a craft show, than your more expensive things like your knives or them tomahawks that I make. These t it takes very little time to make these things and they will sell. So I'm going to show you how to make them. Well, let's take a close up look at those things. Red Key Blacksmith made this one. Beautiful. He also made for me this keychain leaf. And I made this one right here. So today we're going to make this particular model and I'll tell you just exactly how to do it. Now you all, what size stock do you want to use? You can use just about any size stock that you want to. Uh, most people do this at like, uh, you'll see them at uh, side shows doing this kind of stuff on craft shows <coughs> and they're using like 3-8 stock. Well, I don't have any 3-8 stock in, in stock this morning. So I'm going to be using a half inch square stock. Y'all, I hope you can hear me over <clears throat> that noise right there. I'm going to square that piece up. That used to be something else. Okay, what we're going to do first is we're going to create a point on the end of this square bar. All your, all your angles are, are still running the same direction, you guys. See that right there? Okay. Okay. The next thing we want to do is we want to come out over there just about for this leaf. I'm going to stick that over about an inch, maybe a little more than an inch. You'll notice I'm just turning it up on a 90. That's what we're that's what we're wanting to do. See that right there? We're creating a shoulder right there on that. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to round that up just a little bit back here at the shoulder. We'll draw this out some more. 
And what you'll notice is you'll have a line from the tip of this thing right here. Right there, you'll have that line. You'll want to keep that straight all the way through. Okay. You'll see why here just in a few, just in a few minutes. Alright, you all, we're going to draw that leaf out now. <clears throat> and we're going to turn that angle right there straight up. And hammer it straight down in the center. See how that's looking? And depending on how thick you want the leaf, I like mine about a little, a little over a sixteenth of an inch. And as a general rule, you don't need to make a straight point on the end of that leaf right there. Now you all, you can use a chisel to cut your veins in your leaf, or you can use a hammer to do it as well. Okay, which is what I'm going to do. Okay. Whatever's pleasing to your eye. Then we'll take the chisel and we'll cut that center piece into the leaf. All right, that looks pretty good right there. All right, there's what we got so far. Now what we'll do is we'll heat it up some more. We'll cool this end of it. We'll cool the leaf end of it. Then we'll heat it up some more and we'll draw this out just a little bit thinner right here. Now you all at this point, you, you can either take this leaf and lay it aside and put it into another project or you can turn it into a keychain or you can do what I'm going to do with this one right here. So, let's curve this. Into a hook. you all give that thing just a little bit of a decorative twist to it anybody see what I'm doing right there now wish I had more light in my shop okay now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to brush it up really good reheat it and stick it in the oil so now we're going to heat it up 
to right around critical and put it in the oil. You have to bring your temperature up of this piece of steel to a glowing temperature of red, at least red, a dull red before that it will set the carbon on that piece of steel right there. See it's glowing. Another thing we want to do, we can find our brush, which you can't find. Go ahead and knock some of the scale off of it. We'll put that right over here in the oil. Well, like I say, if you want to get into blacksmithing, you can get into blacksmithing really, really easy now. You can buy, and I think I'm going to get one just for uh, several different projects. I think I'm going to get me a two-burner gas forge. The things, you can get them for less than $200 and hook a bottle of propane up to them and uh, do all kinds of sorts of projects with them. Like this stuff right here, you could go out at a craft show and you could probably forge all day long with a little old bottle, with one of them little uh, propane tanks. So anyway, you guys, that's the way that you make a leaf. You can put these things, you can have them on the, you know, on different wall hangers, you can make door handles, door pulls, hinges, locks, just all kind of different ways that you can utilize this stuff right here and it sells like hotcakes, I'm not kidding you. Thirty minutes or less you all. Do they have to be perfect? Absolutely not. I've already drilled a hole in it. Okay, now let's put the thing to use. what you can do with that piece of metal. Also, hang your favorite hats on them. Pretty simple. Alright you all, once again, God bless all of you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Till next time, have yourself a great day.